Okay. Hello, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this um, new foundation. So the foundation is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Super Blendable Foundation. Yeah, that's it. I bought this online without going into the store to check my shade or anything. So I picked the 7.5D slash 7.5W is the golden chestnut so before i decided to go for this color i looked at a few i looked at a few um reviews on youtube and i i tried as much to look at reviews of people that i think are closer to my skin color and i decided to pick this color golden chestnut so I'm going to try it out right now. I really, 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 really hope that it is my shade. So normally I use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which I think is the best foundation. I'm not even going to lie. And my shade in this one is W5, um, 5W2 Rich Caramel. So I decided to go for this drugstore foundation because this one, is this one is um i think 30 pounds and i mean i really cannot be applying 30 pounds foundation every day so i thought let me get something cheaper that i can use i can have for everyday use and i mean a lot of people have talked about this foundation so i thought i would get it this one is nine pound 99 it is £9.99 but I got I ordered it from Boots and at the time I ordered it it was on sale for £6.66 I don't know what about the 666 but yeah it was £6.66 and yeah plus delivery everything was about £10 something so first I'm going to go ahead and apply some primer on my face something for the foundation to stick on and the primer I always use is the Rimmel London Hope you can see this is the Rimmel London Fix and Perfect Mattifying Primer. Okay, so my primer is applied and usually I allow my primer to dry for a bit before I'm going to go in the foundation. There's a bit of shimmer going on, like a bit of glow. Look at that. I go in with a brush first, and then I then go in with a beauty blender after I've used the brush. So I'm going to be doing the same thing for this one. So I'm gonna shake it. I usually like to, oop, let me clean my hand. I like to put my foundation at the back of my hand. I always like to Ooh. So I was thinking the consistency would be a lot runny than this but I'm glad it isn't it Looks like it's slightly closer to this day longer one So we're going to go ahead Let's take a brush And then Please, please, please Um, so far I think I'm liking it Initially I already, I think I had made up my mind that I might not like it But I've just taken two more pumps I think I am liking it I think the shade is actually perfect for me I mean I hope I'm right but because I'm still going to I'm still going to go in with a beauty blender so I'll be able to blend it in a lot more 
So yeah, just gonna carry on blending. Um, I think it is not bad, it is definitely something you might have to build over and over, okay. maybe not over and over, just a few times. Usually I prefer if my foundation is like one shade darker because when I apply my concealer he kind of like cancels it out so but this one seemed to be is it me but this one seemed to be like my exact shade or maybe half a shade lighter than me I don't know Mm, it blends well. I'm not exactly sure if it is full co coverage. It's not giving me that full coverage, full coverage kind of. But obviously, this is the first time, first time ever. This is the first time I'm applying this foundation on my face and my round face and head <laughs> but I'm going to apply my concealer and you know finish the rest of the face and then come back and show you guys the difference <laughs> concealer and my contour as well my cream contour so I'm going to set my face now with a translucent setting powder and also going to contour with a powder <laughs> going to dust all of this out I try not to bake for too long because there's no point so I'm going to finish the face and then I'll come back to you guys so final thoughts so I think this is not a bad foundation for 10 pounds actually nine pound 99 for nine pound 99 it isn't bad this is the first time I'm trying it so but from this look, I mean, I wouldn't even know that I'm wearing a £10 foundation. I mean, you wouldn't even know that I'm wearing a £10 foundation. So if you need a cheaper foundation from the, you know, Lancome, Estee Lauder, Giorgio Armani, all of those ones, definitely get this one. This is a good, I mean, I'm not saying this is a dupe for it, you know, no, but this is not a bad foundation. I mean, look, it blends, it blended so well with a brush and with the beauty blender, it blended so well. Can you see any patches? I don't think so. 
it doesn't sting at all because I mean there's some foundations that when you apply it you just feel you know it stings but this one doesn't this is a really good foundation and to think I got my shade online without even trying you know doing a tester so it is a good foundation definitely get your hand in it if you can thank you so much for watching this video I hope you would watch my other videos um, like the video if you liked it share the video and please click on the subscribe button thank you very much and until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.